What's going on guys? It's Luke back here with another video. Um, you guys know I usually post about music or my frontier or whatever, but today we're gonna like, I'm going over what I have when I, okay, I work outside. I drink a lot of water. So I've had a lot of time to figure out what a good insulated mug or tumbler or whatever you want to call it, jug. I mean, so I've got a couple different companies and I'm just gonna kind of go over what the differences are. So my oldest one, man, <laughs> Okay, this is an Arctic brand. You can tell it's been weathered and worn. This thing has been through it all just about, man. This is a 36 ounce, you know, standard top, all that stuff. Um, works great. I think I got it for 20 bucks, like two or three years ago. But um, it can take a beating, man. It does not look pretty, but it does the job. It still works. Now, I have since upgraded, because I got a gift card to Dick's Sporting Goods. And they don't carry Arctic, so I said, huh, this time I'll get the real thing. So I got me, this is a Yeti 46 ouncer. Now, what I do like about it over the Arctic is it has this um, chug cap. So instead of, like, instead of opening this up and, like, I've been going to Y and stuff, and you'll just spill it all over your shirt because I'm pretty clumsy. With um, the chug cap, it's a lot more controlled and the ice retention i gotta say i mean yeti is a little better but if i didn't have the gift card i wouldn't have bought it so it's still i mean you gotta pay the yeti price now it goes so like we we're saying yeti price this is a really good bottle but it's expensive that's how it is our is a little cheaper and it's still a good bottle the dimensions this is a 36 ounces this is a 46 it's a little, little taller a little wider i like the chug cap better on this than that but you can find another top for six bucks from arctic so it's pitter patter. It's really what you want. And um, working outside and stuff, 36 ounces, 46. They're great. They're great to keep with you on a mower or something. Your um, out, you know, whatever you're doing outside. But um, that ain't gonna get you through today. So I'm not saying this one will either, but this is a step up. So this is a 64 ounce half gallon jug from Arctic, Arctic brand. And um, I didn't go with the color, so you can't see that it's beat the crap as well. But um, this is holding together just fine. It's got a um easy spout so you can't lose the top and i think i remember paying about 40 bucks for this or something and um for reference the yeti one's 100 <clears throat> and the only noticeable difference i can tell between this one and the yeti is on the lid the yeti lid instead of being hollow right here the yeti lid's like fully insulated except for the drinking hole so i suppose it holds hot liquid better than cold but for my purposes I don't really drink coffee that much. I usually just want cold water, you know? I mean, never drink with nothing worse than hot water. So, had this for a couple years. Works like a charm. And it's portable enough to keep in like um, a zero turn mower behind the seat if you're sitting up far enough. So, it's not, it's a pretty good investment. I think 40 bucks for that one, say 25 for this, and about, you know, this retail for 55, but I paid like 25 for it is what it should be but that's just me and um so this is my most recent purchase right here half gallon is great it's gonna last you the whole day no we have the gallon jug ladies and gentlemen this is the arctic brand you know why because what i've noticed with these arctics is they insulate for my purposes just fine this thing's gonna hold ice three or four days the yeti may hold it five or six but i don't need to hold on to ice that long you know and this thing was 45 bucks Versus the Yeti being 130. And the cool thing with these two, the lids are interchangeable. This is all brand new and stiff and stuff, but this one, you know, it's been weathered and worn. This one's beat up. But if I needed to, I could switch this and that. I mean, right now I'm doing an ice retention test on this one. I put it in there a couple hours ago and I only put it up to about there. So you can still see plenty of ice in there. And, um, you know, I'll show you right here. See this lid right here? This lid right here right on it without an issue you're good to go it's just the interchangeability as i was really leaning heavy towards getting the yeti gallon jug guys i was close but um i couldn't justify spending 130 bucks on a jug that's going to do this is going to be the exact same thing and um they both have you know the rubber insulation rings like the only difference like i was saying with a half gallon is this full gallon one as well the lid is hollow instead of insulated so um 
this is still gonna hold ice for probably three to four days. And I'll keep you guys updated on this thing because it's got it for a couple hours right now and it hadn't melted at all. So I'm betting that thing will hold on for a while, but I'll keep you updated on the old Arctic gallon jug, see how it holds up. But, um, and to give you guys a size comparison to see which one like you like carrying around. So we got the half gallon jug right here. This is all st sitting on a flat table. So um, this is how tall it really is. This is how it looks in my hand compared to my head. And this is the Arctic 36 ouncer, basic stuff. Um, I will say only thing with Arctic is if you don't like your paint getting chipped, don't get Arctic, but the bottle works fine. Paint comes off relatively easily. That's not what I care about. I want my water to be cold. That's what I'm worried about. So, um, and you can say the same for the Yeti. I've had this Yeti for probably three weeks now. It's got a couple chips in it, you know. I mean, it's in this sharp tail. I don't know. They come out with seasonal colors. I got whatever color was at Dick's. So, um, I'm not that huge on what color it is. I just want it to be nothing too flashy and something durable. And then, you know, these three. So, this is a little taller, a little wider short and fat kind of bridge the gap and go in order like this and then you know got your gallon jug which is somehow or another the same height as the 46 ouncer whatever you guys think i mean i'm a fan of all of them i've been using this one the most lately to drink out of just because the chug cap and it holds ice a little better than the arctic does but if you're a buyer looking for a brand new jug or tumbler i mean you know what what they call them you may want the Yeti name. I don't blame you. It's good stuff. This chug cap comes apart, as in like it's clear. You can clean that part. You can clean it separately like this, and it's nice. It's really well put together. It's gonna last you a long time. You're just gonna pay for it. <laughs> um, it's gonna look a little nicer. You're gonna, um, you know, a little higher up there. You got the name brand. You don't have the knockoff Arctic or something, but you want to save about. Let's see what 20 25 bucks so they're 36 ounce or yeti's 36 ounce retails for like 50 bucks i think the arctic one's like 20 25 minimal difference in performance i mean you may get an extra half day out of the yeti but to me that doesn't really matter i'd rather save 25 and i'm pretty certain i can come across some ice somewhere or another so um yeah i just wanted to go over if you guys were looking into getting some jugs or some cups or whatever for because spring's coming up here in a month or so and i know that people that work outside like i do they drink a lot of water and um real test is this thing right here this used to be what this is going to do for me because this used to stay in my truck it'd be 100 degrees and it maintained to keep the water cold it didn't it always i mean i'd fill it up with ice probably about to here or something the ice to be about here at the end of the day but for 100 degrees and some heat in an enclosed car, which probably gets to 150, 120, after I've like been pouring all kinds of water out of it, that ain't bad. So if this even performs close to what the half gallon does, I'm satisfied, because this is just gonna be strapped in with a seat belt and a passenger seat going to work with me every day. And this will probably be what I end up carrying with me like on the mowers and stuff, you know? So um, everybody has their own preference. I went with the name brand when I, like, this is what I'll probably end up drinking out of the most this summer, like, keeping with me. It was this, and it still very well could be this, but the main thing is, I don't want to buy a new lift for this one. I have this one that I like better, you know? It's all preference. It's all really what you're looking for. You may want the name brand, give me the real thing, get you a Yeti, man. But if you're looking to save about 25 bucks and get about 90% of the performance, <laughs> Arctic's got it too for you, man. So, um... Hey, man. Well, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I um, just wanted to give you guys, like, my personal experience using Arctic products versus Yeti products. I've had a Yeti tumbler for, you know, a year and a half or so. But it doesn't go through the beating that these things take. You know, they're going to fall off mowers. They're going to hit crap. They're going to get dinged up. That's just the nature of the game. So, um, I've had these Arctics for, you know, over two, three years. And they've held together pretty well, man, for, like... It done good. I mean, you can tell the caps are beat up. This one, I mean, this is probably the best example because it still insulates like I did, like it did when I bought it. And um, this Yeti one looks to work out great, but um, I don't know yet. I've only had it for less than a month, so we will see how it turns out and if it lives up to the Yeti name. But um, 
Just wanted to put that out there, how like, how I've used these and how they've lasted. Cause that's what I'm about, I want it to last and I want it to be worth it. So, um, well, there's my review of like, you know, R2 versus Yeti. It's probably been done a hundred times, but I wanted to give you guys a real world, how they've held up, you know? So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a good one.